Hello, Assalamualaikum. This is video on rate of reaction chemistry form 4 on subtopic 7.1 determining rate of reaction part 2. Okay, so what is the average rate of reaction? Average rate of reaction is the average value for the rate of reaction that occurs in a particular time interval. So we have a few uh, methods to calculate the average rate of reaction. And this is the first one. Okay, the overall average rate of reaction means when the reaction stops, then you take the total volume of the gas eh, and you divide by time taken when the reaction stops. Okay, so this is overall average rate of reaction. Okay, okay, second one is the average rate of reaction for the first uh, certain time. Okay, so how do you calculate this average rate of reaction? So you take the total volume of gas collected. Let's say you are given, uh, you are asked to determine the rate of reaction for T1. Okay, so the total volume uh, at T1 is V1. Okay, so average rate of reaction for the first T1 second equals to total volume of gas collected, uh, which is V1. Over time taken, the time taken is T1. Okay, so you minus 0. And because from the start until the T1. And the volume, total volume is V1 over T1. And the unit is if the volume of gas centimeter cube. So centimeter cube over second. And the third one, the average rate of reaction from T1 to T2. Okay. So, total volume of gas collected uh, from T1 to T2 is V1. Between V1 and V2. Okay. So, you minus the V2 minus V1 over the time taken is between them. Between T2 and T1. Okay. So, we we'll see example for this uh, type of calculation. Okay, the instantaneous rate of reaction is the rate of reaction at a particular point of time. These are uh, steps to calculate the average rate of reaction at a particular time. Okay, so step one, method one is draw a tangent to the curve. Okay, so this is the tangent and then after that you draw a triangle um, of the tangent. This one, triangle of the tangent. And then you calculate the gradient of the tangent. The, the formula of the gradient is V2 minus V1 here over T2 minus T1. Okay, so these are three steps to calculate the rate of reaction at instantaneous um, time. Okay, let's see one example uh, solving numerical problem related to rate of reactions. In the presence of manganese uh, four oxide, hydrogen peroxide decomposes to water and oxygen. And the oxygen gas release is collected in a gas string and the volume recorded at intervals of 0.5 minutes. The data collected is shown in table below. Okay. So based on the table, plot a graph of volume of gas against time. Okay. So normally, uh, mark provided for this type of question is 3 or 4. Okay, the first step is to draw and label both X and Y axis. Okay, uh, label the axis together with its unit. Okay, don't forget the unit. Uh, then decide the scale. Uh, your, make sure your graph is more than 50% of your graph paper. Okay, so the scale look nice for me now. And next is transfer all the points. And lastly, plot the graph with a smooth line 
a smooth curve eh? warning do not use ruler okay okay next is to calculate the following average rate of uh, rate of reaction uh, for the first minute uh, for the first minute um here is the first minute okay so the volume of gas collected is 22 the time taken is 1 minute so 22 over 1 is 22 centimeter cube per minute minute spell it m i n u t e minus 1 okay for b uh, the fifth minute the fifth minute now is here the fifth minute is 48 Okay, minus the fourth minute, 45. Okay, for the fifth minute only. Okay, so 5 minus 4. Okay, then you calculate and don't forget the unit, cubic centimeter per minute. And for C, for the whole uh, reaction, for the whole reaction, if you notice, the reaction stop at uh, minute 6, okay? Um, for minute 6.5, uh, 7, the volume of gas collected not increase. So, the, re the reaction stop here, okay? So, the total volume is 50 and it stop at 6, okay? So, uh, you divide by 6, not by 7, okay? So, divide by 6 and then you got the answer and don't forget the unit, centimeter cube per minute. Okay. Okay, next question. Calculate the rate of reaction at the following time, at 1.5 minute. When you are given at instantaneous uh, time, so you have to draw a tangent. Okay, so here we draw the tangent. Tangent is a, is a line that touch only one point on the graph. Eh? Like this. Not this one. Eh? Not this one. And not this one. Okay, so the tangent is there. Then you draw a triangle to the tangent. And write the uh, coordinate for the points okay so our point here now is 2.4 and uh, 3.38 and here 0 0.5 and 18 okay so how do we next is uh, we calculate the gradient of the tangent eh? the gradient is um, 38 38.0 minus 18.0 divide by 2.4 the time uh, minus 0 0.5 okay then your answer is 10.53 um the unit is centimeter cube per minute okay so this is the rate of reaction at 1.5 minute okay Next, calculate the rate of reaction at the following time at 4.0 minutes. So, uh, like as um, previous, we draw a tangent that touch only one point, uh, which is on 4.0 minute, and then draw a triangle to the tangent, and then write the coordinate for the uh, tangent. Eh? Normally, student do um, uh, normally student do the mistake with the coordinate, okay? And then calculate the gradient of the tangent. Fifty one point five minus uh, thirty four divide by five point eight minus one point six five. Okay, then you calculate 51.5 minus 34 uh, divided by 
5.8 minus 1.65. Then you got your answer is 4.22. Uh, centimeter cube per minute okay so this is the rate of fraction at zero uh, at 4.0 minute okay okay so that's all hope this video can help you to understand on 7.1 how to determine the rate of reaction see you bye